So we're here with Jenny Fletcher um, here at Challenge Penticton this weekend. Jenny is a pro triathlete. Uh, are you racing on Sunday, Jenny? I am. Some would say participating, but yes, I am racing. <laughs> Very nice. So um, you're here this weekend and you've done a lot of international racing this year. Can you tell us a bit about your season? Uh, we saw you in Challenge Roth. We saw you all, all over, basically. Yeah, I had plans this year. I'm um, like, start slow, race barely, you know, like really pay, space it out. And I ended up starting with um, a Grand Cayman, Guadeloupe, and then I went to it, uh, France for Cannes International Try, stayed there and tra trained with Leander Cave, came, got all excited from that, signed up for Roth, um, came back, raced uh, Chattanooga, escaped from Alcatraz, and then went into full-on training for Roth. Um, had the most insane that was my first full ever wow um can't I, I can't even put into words it was the most amazing experience i've ever experienced and then from there i i heard about challenge iceland and i was like i have to go it was a four hour flight and i jumped on a plane next thing you know i'm in iceland <laughs> racing the next weekend a half off of a full and it was an experience and then i uh came back here and i've really actually just been trying to recover from that crazy this crazy year and prepare for Penticton this race for me is a bit of a training race because I'm having a slow start and after that full after my crazy half a year yeah you could tell me it's December I'd be really happy <laughs> that is certainly a, a busy year of international travel but I guess you're sort of used to that um, you're a model as well so you you balance that on top of your training um, how do you how do you balance being a pro triathlete and a full-time model as well? It's complicated. I find that at the beginning of every year, I'm like, okay, you're going to balance your life more. You're going to base yourself in LA and be there and focus on more modeling because you can actually make some money versus our passion sport. And then, you know, I start training and I have goggle marks and wet hair and traveling for races. And, and a lot of times I just, I just let it let it be what it is like life is an adventure and I love to travel so whether it's with modeling or sports I'm gonna be just kind of keep my life adventurous for sure it's it's a hard balance I I still you know after being in both for so long it's it's kind of one of those things you either focus on one or focus on the other but the balance of both of them it, it doesn't always work out it's, if I'm in LA it's great because I can go to auditions and work but I start traveling which you as you see I travel a lot and it kind of limits the the being available for, for modeling. So what were your goals when you sort of planned your race season this year and <laughs> what, what were you hoping to accomplish? I think the reason why I've had the year I've had is, is there was parts of me that was like not even sure if I was going to keep racing. I was like maybe it's time to go back into modeling and, and slow down a bit and I didn't have really the plan laid out and just started unfolding and that's why I think it's been so fun and also crazy and chaotic but at the same time it's been the best year I think I've ever had just because I've just said like, go have fun with this sport and and travel and experience and, and just like and that's what it's been it's been non-stop and kind of kind of having fun with it. And so you are Canadian you grew up in Alberta. Yep. Uh, so coming back here to Penticton, is that does that sort of hold a special place in your heart? Um, racing in Canada and and training here. Yeah, I mean, uh, I I love. First of all, I love being Canadian, and I love racing in Canada. And I've been in the U.S. for so long because I started modeling young, and I've been down there long that everyone everyone thinks I'm American. Even if I have Canadian all over me, I, I'm still everyone thinks I'm American. So it's fun to come back here and actually, you know be acknowledged for who I am and, and, and race in your home country. There's something there's something very empowering and you feel good. You're, my parents came here, drove oh, across, great. drove 10 hours to come watch me. So it makes it nice to, to be on home turf. And what are you most excited about in the race tomorrow? <laughs> um, so finish. <laughs> you know, again, like I said, I'm, I'm kind of coming in a little under the not quite ready for it so I think for me I'm most excited to I have to make this race about just enjoy it and as long as I'm smiling and and out there enjoying it then that will be my takeaway is did, did you enjoy the race while you're out there suffering yes <laughs>
That's great. Well, thanks so much, Jenny. Pleasure.